Hello, this is Nam. I am a passionate Java programmer who loves coding Java. I am founder of CodeJava.net, one of the most popular Java programming tutorial websites. Here's my website, CodeJava.net. And you see my Facebook profile, which is dedicated for Java programming sharing. As you can see in my Facebook, my mission is to help you become a good Java programmer. So please connect with me via this Facebook profile so I can help you become a good Java programmer. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to test a Java web application that uploads files to a web server. The details of how to building this web application is described in this tutorial. Java file upload example with Sublit 3.0 API. What I'm going to show you is how to deploy and test this web application using Eclipse IDE and Apache Tomcat server. So first we need to download the project. Click here. Okay, the file has been downloaded successfully. I saw it in the folder to see where this file is. See, this, this file is upload sub it. 3.0 is a zip file. Now, uh, Open Eclipse IDE and import this project into Eclipse. So click menu file. New import and choose project from folder or archive. And click next in this import projects from file system archive dialog. Click button archive and select the zip file we have downloaded. Okay. And click finish. You see the project has been imported into Eclipse IDE, but we have some errors here, but don't worry. I'm going to fix uh, the problem now. Right click and select properties, the services, and choose runtime for Apache Tomcat V8.0 because the version of Tomcat on my computer is 8.0. Click OK. Oh, there's still another problem. The right compiler, no problem. So, right click, click this and choose our version is 1.8. Okay, okay. So, the error have gone. Now, let's, let's deploy this uh, project on. Uh, Tomcat server simply drag and drop this project from this project explorer to this server drag and drop that's it very simple the project has been uh, deployed on Tomcat and let start the server okay Very good.
the server has been started successfully. Now let's try to upload the file by accessing to the upload the SP page. Right click and select run as run on server. Click finish. You see. This is a uh, upload uh, page which uh, allows us to choose a file to upload. Click browse and select a file. Here I select this file. Back link simplify. Click open and click upload. Wow! Very good. We got the message. Upload has been done successfully. That means the file has been uh, uploaded successfully to the server and now we are going to check if this file is really uploaded to the server let's look at the project source code Here's a, here is a service class and we see that there are a constant called save directory. This points to a directory on the server where the file are stored. This part is related to the web applications directory on the server. Okay, so because we deploy and run this project in on Tomcat server inside Eclipse, so we need to check. Double click on the server. We need to find the directory. Look. Here, the server part. So we see that the server part here is dot metadata, which is related to the workspace workspace directory. So I open workspace directory. My workspace is located at server here dot metadata. Login. Eclipse. The server core here, the MP0, WTB web apps. You see, as you see, where our Java web application is deployed in Eclipse, and you see the upload file directory here, and our file has been uploaded here. Uh -huh. Very good so far, so good. Now let's try to upload another file. Okay. Close this. Mm. Let's look at the project again. Let's review the project. This is a subject class, and this is the upload file. Upload the USB paste based that this layer. Upload form, you see, and this is when submit thing this form, the submit will be called via this URL action property observe form, and this is a submit that handles the upload request from server in its do both method. And after processing the file into the directory, it redirects redirect the user to the message.jsp file, which is here. This JSP page simply displays the message sent from the server. In this case, the message is upload has been done successfully, as you can see on this. In this browser, okay. 
Now let's try let's back and select another file to upload. Here I see I upload. this uh, image okay no you see pdf file open and click upload successfully now let's check the upload directory again you see there's another file uploaded here that means our web application is working properly note that in the submit class we define the max request size which is the maximum file size can be uploaded so if we try to upload a very big file, a file which is larger than 50 megabytes. We will got an error. For example, I show this book. Okay, open, upload. You see, we got this error because the file is larger than the maximum size. Specify in the sublit class the file exists is maximum permitted size. You see, so far I have shown you how to import, deploy, and test a Java web application that upload files to a part Tomcat server. You can uh, review my tutorial on Kozawa.net to un fully understand how the application works. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and my Facebook profile. Thanks for watching.